the pressure is there. It's the Yankees, you know, like Duke basketball, like Michigan football, like the Celtics, like the Lakers. It's omnipresent. You you don't run from it. You embrace it. Otherwise, you get run over by that pressure. But, you know, I I look at this season and while the Yankees, while I expect the Yankees to be very, very good and be a playoff team for sure and have a, you know, have a chance to do something big, big, it's, it's not going to be easy. And I understand that. And you know what? I relish that. Like, I, I know that this is going to sound almost contrived because in the moment it was awesome. But, you know, watching the Yankees for better part of a decade just absolutely annihilate and steamroll all the baseball because of the payroll disparity. Five, six, seven All-Stars. You want Matsui? Come on over from Japan. You want Giambi? Come on over from the A's. You want Clemens? You want this guy? It it was, in, in, in a lot of ways... I'm not talking about 96. I'm talking about after that. It became too easy. And for me, given my age and my early Yankee fandom, that was very foreign to me. So this is going to be a night-to-night slugfest where the Yanks are going to give up some runs. Uh, they're going to score a ton of runs. We'll see how the bullpen holds up. There's a lot of different arms and a lot of different variations and buttons that Boone's going to have to push. But... While I'm not running from it, I know it's going to be a different feeling. In a weird way, they're kind of underdogs. Without Garrett Cole, even though they're expected to win a lot, Yanks are dogs. Let's go. Right. I like I those love I like those seasons going in with lowered expectations, but the Yankees don't have the lowered expectations. Well, I'm not lowering them. Right. I'm just pre- presenting a I, little I, bit of a different side of the uh, of of the fandom that I think that you know, I think most sensible, not entitled, you know, normal, rationally thinking Yankee fans should feel. There's holes on this team. There's holes on every team. Let's go. Right, but then that's the point, that this team, like, whether you want to lower them or not even lower them, whether you want to look at it from a different perspective going in, not as the big bad, highest payroll in the world, Yankees, that they're expected to win everything, They their own expectations, whether it's the word all in, whether it is, you know, try which we're looking to win a championship this year, that is a goal. Well, if they don't, again, get to and win a World Series, there are going to be repercussions from that. Like, it can't just be the same thing again yeah. if this Yankees team fails. Not to mention, you have Soto looming, you know, as far as free agency uh-huh. goes. What's going on with the young guys? What moves are they going to make at the deadline? Try to put this team over the hump. Judge in the postseason. Like, there are so many question marks. Boone, Cashman. If the Yankees don't deliver a championship, or at the very least, get to a World Series. I'll even give you just get there this year, because if you get there, all right, at least they did their part finally getting back to their first World Series since 2009. Anything short of that, I don't see how you don't look at this as a failure and a disappointment. All the talk, all the moves that they made, whether I think they're all in or not, they did make some moves in in getting Juan Soto. Like, they, they've got everything lined up for them to make a run of it. How would we accept anything less than a World Series? Well, because some of us are still sensible, and some of us still understand that baseball, like golf, is hard. You know, this isn't the NBA, where you, you get LeBron and Bosch and Wade, and you just destroy people, or Kareem and Magic. This is baseball, and there's a lot of variables, and it's a long season. I, listen, don't get me wrong. I, I hear you. I, I know what you mean at, at the core of the statement that Sal just made, but you know, we were talking a little bit before the show, and I even said, I want to save this part for the show. I don't want, I don't want to talk about this right now. I disagree. Like, and, and this is coming from a fan of the team. Like, if the Yankees... Now, let me step back very quickly. If it goes sideways and they're 85 wow. and whatever... Then Cashman's gone, Boone's gone, Soto might bounce. We've got we got a world of problems, and well, now it's well, wrecking ball well, time. They should be, but do you think they will? That's a whole nother. Well, conversation. you know, I, I I would think so because Boone's contract is up, and you're halfway through the Cashman extension. I do think that this would be the point of inflection, even for somebody who's been incredibly too patient, like Hal Steinbrenner. But the point is, if the Yankees win yeah, 92, 91, 93, somewhere in that window without Garrett Cole, first couple of months. They get to the playoffs, they win the first round, and they lose. And again, I'm, I don't, I'm not setting the bar where this is what I will I will be happy about this, but there's got to be an element of sensibility as you process the baseball season. If the Yankees lose a seven-game, you know, white knuckler to, I know, the Astros would be a different level of yeah. pain because of that rivalry, but to whomever, and they don't lose because Judge hits 130 uh, and still can't get it done in the postseason, or 
Rodon gets rocked in, in a pivotal game six and is done after two and a third, or all th- things that you cannot accept, yeah. or the bullpen melts down, or maybe more specifically, Aaron Boone pushes the wrong buttons with the bullpen, and we're yelling about that like lunatics. That's I'm not talking about that. That is different. But if the Yankees get to the American League Championship Series and they and they hold their own and they play well and they lose to a better team, not because the Yankees don't perform, but because the other team performs a little bit better. Hey. Yankee fans, you don't like what I'm saying. Tough. I'm not. I'm not so entitled where I expect championship. Championship. Well, you should. No, 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 no. I shouldn't. No, this is no, the no, Yankees. No, no, yeah, this no, is the New York no, no. Yankees. But that's not my New York Yankees. That's the difference, and this is what I'm getting separation from. I understand the Yankee lore. Come on, dude. I do it for a living, right. and I'm a Yankee fan. That doesn't mean that I enter every single season with my feet up, saying, "I mean, listen, y'all, with the Yankees, we're beyond reproach." Nonsense. No, but the this Yankees have different. proven to be so fallible and so poorly run for a while. I'm going. Going night to night. To me, this is like a boxing match. And it's not even round to round. It's jab to jab. This is going to be a nightly battle. And as a baseball fan, I'm excited for that. I understand that. And I agree that not every single year, regardless of what organization you are, even the high and mighty New York Yankees, not every year should be World Series or bust. However, this is not every year. This year's different. They said they were going all in. They missed the postseason last year, which is something they haven't. Uh, like, think about it. They had their worst year last year in 30 years. Coming off of that, they went out there and got Juan Soto. They have Juan Soto and Aaron Judge in their lineup. It is World Series or bust, whether you like it or not. I mean, that's just it. Anything less than that. Like, the Yankees built their team. They said it. Regardless of what you or I say or the fans call about, and I'd be curious to hear what the fans have to say, 877-337-6666. Regardless of what they say about it, the Yankees built their team to win a World Series. Anything short of that is a failure. Well, I, I, this I, I, year. I, I don't see it that way. I, I hear you. I know what you mean. And by the way, I think I think a fair amount of Yankee fans will disagree with me. As we get to these phones, I think there's Yankee fans who are probably saying, oh, my God, you know, it's all about being soft with X. No, it's not about being soft. It's about understanding the game and the complexities and the nuances Whoa. and how hard it is to win a World Series. Oh. Just because the Yankees made it look easy, that, you know, in our lifetime most recently, it's not. Well, not mo- no, they haven't been to one since 2009. I get it. I, I know, I know that, the but, track but, record. I understand. It's right, tough. But, but that's the point. This is a team that... Like, 2017, to me, was one of my favorite years watching the New York Yankees. Because to your point before, where you have the lowered expectations, and I'm used to that as a Met fan. Yep, yep, yep. The, the seasons that you exceed the expectations. Those are fun. They're those rewarding are the seasons. seasons. Yes. Like, even for me, I always say 99, even though the Mets didn't get to a World Series, yep. was better than 2000 when they got to a World Series mm-hmm. and obviously lost to the Yankees. The Yankees in 2017 were expected to be in a rebuild. They get instead to Game 7 of the ALCS, okay? And, I know. And which was a great year. And then from there, they were supposed to build on that. At some point from game seven of the 2017 ALCS to now, we were expecting to see the Yankees, if not win a World Series or two, I was. at least be in no, no, one or I'm two. Not gonna, I'm too. not going to push back okay. on that. No, right. Meaning now, how did they lose that series? Understood. Cheated. Yeah, that's fine. And that matters. Because okay. as much well, as we say on, 2000. You sound like no, no, Cashman with the no, no, I, but I, I, but I never say that. I'm just, I, I know Cashman said that. He can't say that. I can and I don't. I never reach for that because you lose, you lose. But you know, we keep saying 2009, 2009. Right. I I know 2009, it's but it really should be 2017. Right. It really should be. C- c- okay, fine. But and by he, the way, Sal, just one yeah. more thing: if the Yankees were rolling out that same team, like uh, just say Bird was still here and Sanchez was there, like that right. state, that team was still here. We're sitting here saying, guys, this is stale. You haven't cracked through. You haven't won. I understand that the baby bombers went south fast, but. They've recalibrated, and I got to tell you, what they've given us, at least on paper going into the year, they've given you Ruth and Garrick on paper back-to-back, and they've given you a lot to look forward to. It's a totally different team. Not not totally different. Their peak was 2017. They then added John Carlos Stanton. They added Garrett Cole, and they've gone down since then. Maybe a little peaks and valleys, but they haven't gotten back to that point that they were at. Game 7 of the ALCS. Yes, ALCS. Other uh, ALCS. Game 6. Yeah, you know, a couple years ago. In the ALCS, they got swept. But they haven't been back to that pinnacle of Game 7 of the 20. That's as close as they've been to the World Series, and they haven't gotten there yet. With this group, with Judge in his prime, with Mal Juan Soto here, with Garrett Cole, he's out two months, yes, and that hurts things, but he's not done for the year, and everybody's saying that's great news, right? 
So then it should be about the World Series. This is not a team that's, you know, figuring its way out. This is not a step back year, a rebuild year, waiting to develop Dominguez and Wells yeah, and Spencer Jones. Like, eventually, yes, those guys got to be a part of it. But this is a team that should be ready to go win the World Series. Now, this is a team this year. The time is now for this Yankees it's team. See, in a lot of ways, you know, provided the Yankees have a good season, um, I, I think this is almost the, the perfect setting to really enjoy this as a Yankee fan. Because, you know, again, night tonight, you're going to have a chance to just thump people and watch things we haven't seen in a while with Soto and, and obviously Judge going back-to-back. But it's not like it's the last version. Now, Soto might leave, so that, that could obviously change. And Judge is not a kid. He's 31, going to be 32 very soon. But the kids that they have in the pipeline, I believe, and I know you don't get too much into this, but... I believe in Dominguez. I believe in Spencer Jones. And I even believe in Austin Wells as a hitter, not to the degree of the mm-hmm. other two guys. But the point is, is that they are ready to at least have a real chance to win now, and the tomorrow is very bright as well. And, so as a Yankee fan, I'm saying it's opening day. Yeah, I wish Garrett Cole was on the right. bump. He's not. Yeah, would have been nice for Strowman to say, all right, I'll deviate from my schedule. Give me the baseball. He didn't. We'll go with nasty. Probably a 6-5 game, 5-4 kind of a game. Let's see what we got. Mm, Let's the, go. The Astros and Yankees Let's go. Today. BT and Sal on the fan, our friends at Town Fair Tire, remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires. From Connecticut to Maine, nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Alex is on Staten Island. What's up, Alex? Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning. Morning. Um, I, you know, as a, as a Yankee fan, and I'm with you, BT, I think that, you know, for Sal to put all the pressure on us as far as World Series or busts, I think it's a little much. Uh, I think whoa, that, you know, hold on a second. I'm not putting the pressure on you. The Yankees said it. I mean, you guys aren't paying attention. You're getting scared all of a sudden. You're trying to lower the expectations. This is not me making it up. The reality is the Yankees built this team to win a World Series. I know, Sal, but this is you got to remember one thing. We are not the same Yankees from George Steinbrenner days. So our expectations, we have a lot of question marks on the, bet, uh, on the starting lineup. For us, for a sensible Yankee fan, I think the most important thing is get in the playoffs, which I expect us to get into, and then we'll take it from there. Because, yep. like I said, we have question marks on the starting lineup. We're not the same Yankees that we were from the past. So, things, you know, with organization-wise, decisions that have been made, we're just not the same Yankees that had that aura from the Steinbrenner days. So, my expectation is playoffs for sure. Let's take it from there. Yeah, interesting. Thank and thank you for the yeah. call, Alex. I, and by the way, I, I agree, and I want to say this as well. So, like, mm. you know, I talk about the the you know if if it would have happened, Yankees lose in the American League Championship Series. You know, and based on what Sal's saying and what the Yankees have said in terms of what, what how it's unacceptable, what, what what went down a year ago. Although, did they ever really truly use the words all in? Did they really use that? Yes, they did. did are you sure? Yes, I am. 100%. Yes. I Yankees. know they used unacceptable, embarrassing. I want to really see if they said all in. They, they, I don't. Oh, I didn't make it up. No, I'm not saying made it up. It. I just want to make sure we're not stretching no. things because we're hanging on those two words all in. And I understand it's a great talking point that it really mm-hmm. is. Uh, it, it, it's paralyzing in the sense that we we all react to it, and it it, it, it it lights up the room with intensity. But I just want to make sure that they actually said those two words. But in the the series with the Astros, and I was there. All right, I was there against the Guardians for a game. Yankees stunk. They got lucky to win that series, and we knew that. I knew they were going nowhere that year. I knew it. Right, and then the Astros series. I'm sitting in the stadium. Took Colt. He was 67 years old at that point. My, taking my son to his first Yankee playoff game, I felt like I was at a funeral. It was lifeless. It was dead. And if you were in that stadium game three, you know what I'm saying. It was an embarrassment. There were some empty seats. There was no juice because we knew that the Yankees were not it. We knew. They were old. They were slow. They were limited. And the Astros were running circles around us. And that, this is what I mean. If you lose a competitive American League Championship Series because you play well and the other team plays slightly better, I could walk out of the stadium or shut off my TV that night and say, damn, I wanted to win. I wanted to keep going here. But I can at least rationalize the ending when I left the stadium that night and eventually the fourth game when they got swept and they and it was over. I said, this is unacceptable. This does not feel like the Yankees. That cannot happen. And, you know, that's where I, I delineate between – you know, a World Series or bust, you know, or losing, you know, a highly competitive, well-played, buttoned-up series. I I can process yeah. that because yeah. I know that baseball is the hardest sport to play. Right. Uh, 
Okay, okay, but... And it's the highest rate yeah, of failure. Yeah, that's great. So then every time you knock Steve Cohen or the Mets, and I'm just like, oh, baseball, they haven't won a World Series since 1986. Guess what? Baseball is the hardest sport well, to play. I mean, like, no. Okay, I mean, what do we... No, so, well, hey, okay, guess, talk about a stretch, dude. I mean, well, I mean come do you mean? on. It's you a, should no, stumble upon that, some success in 40 years. Well, I'm they, talking about... That. Come well, on. Well, they did. They got to a World Series in no, 2015. No, no. It's the hardest sport to play, but somehow the crappy Mets got there in 2015, and the Yankees still haven't been back to once in 2009. So that's not going to fly with me. That's not an excuse. But, but it, it doesn't, oh, I'm not asking. I don't care if it flies. I don't need it to fly with you. Oh, baseball is hard. I don't care. You asked me. Well, you said, what is my... What is my level of acceptance for the yeah, season? Well, it's not just and, you. The call well, you want to fan the flames. You want to get the Yankees. Go, yeah. Yeah. All in. World Series are buzzed. How? Boo. Judge. Soto's going to leave. We know the talking points. Let me talk to my brethren. This guy over here. He's just pissed off because the tarp is on the field well, today, and his boys ain't playing. Uh, no, I'm actually, That's what he's mad I'm about. I'm actually excited about it because I get to solely watch the New York Yankees. One game you get to today watch that the we show, care about. The smoke show. The Yankees show. and the Astros. The laser show. The, but but what I'm hearing from you now and the first Yankee fan that we had translate on the, on the phone, it. Go ahead. Is that hey? We just want to get to the playoffs and see what happens. Well, no, that, well, that's great. If, if and, you and want, yeah, if you ma- want to use that tone, make it seem like docile. That, that's fine. All right. I expect but, to but get the- to the playoffs, and I expect to do well when we get there. If we don't, and when we don't, I'll react to what I Correct. see. Understood. That's all I can do. Uh, understood. You know what the Mets' expectation is? What? Get to the playoffs and see what happens. Yeah. So all of a sudden, the Yankees, who are quote unquote all in, and I'm going to read you the quotes verbatim yeah, from so Brian you did Cashman. Find them. I know you looked them up. No, so I'm, I'm going to get them. I'm yeah, trying to do know, three yeah, things at once here, but I'll get it. But the point is. The Yankees all in, and they built a significantly better team. They, they definitely had the star did. power. The Mets, obviously, I don't want to say even went cheap, but, you know, they, they dialed it back a lot this year. They, they you know, went and got lesser guys, taking some chance on guys. Their expectation, hope, is to get in the playoffs and see what happens. Mm-hmm. Same thing for the Yankees. No, the Yankees are expected to compete with the best well, of the okay, best. Okay, but great. Now let's see who actually gets there between the Yankees and the Mets. Ray is in Brooklyn. What's up, Ray? Hey, what's doing, guys? What's up, Ray? Ray? BT, you said you're from Marine Park? Yeah. Uh, I'm your neighbor, Garrison Beach. What's up, Ray? <laughs> How you yeah. doing? Listen, uh, I used to play a lot of ball. I used to play a lot of ball, Garrison Beach. Yeah, Earl, early ball when I was young. I'll, 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 pass, I'll pass mine across. A lot of softball in there. There you go. But uh, thank you for for your level head. Sal, you're killing me, man. I, isn't every every team's expectation to get to the World Series? No, absolutely not. No, it's the, I can, I can list you off about 20, 20 teams that, yeah, they wish, their hope, the expectation, absolutely not. Matter of fact, the Mets, the Mets' expectation is not to get to the World Series this year. They said it. The well, expectation is playoffs. You're all making excuses for the Mets already, and you you want the Yankees to go 162 and, and zero. That's what you're looking for. No, that's you know not, Ray. Ray, that's not. <laughs> Ray, let me spell it out for you. P- plain and simple. <laughs> no, 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 just listen to just listen Hang on, to what, say, Ray. Hang on, Ray. Ray, just Hang listen on. to what I'm saying. Hang on, Ray. Bye, Ray. Uh, I can't come on, Ray. I'm trying to talk. Go ahead, Sal. Go but, for it. Ray, I never said, and this is me saying it. Hopefully, Ray has his ears cleaned out. Are your neighbors with him? Maybe send him some Q-tips. <laughs> this is what I'm saying here. Neighbors. The Yankees don't have to go 162-0. and The Yankees have the highest of expectations. Don't shoot the messenger. Brian Cashman said it himself. They're taking a run at the championship. The Mets aren't. That's an embarrassment for the Mets because I believe in this town every year you should be making a run at the championship, especially with the payroll and the resources that each team has. The Yankees are holding up their end of the bargain by going for it. The Mets are not. They're taking a step back next year, and then they better be all in. They'll be front and center because it's going to be World Series or bust. The Yankees right now are in the line of fire, and I think it's incredibly frustrating to hear Yankee fans say anything other than that. You should embrace the expectations. I do. I wish my team had that. I, well, listen, you can be a prisoner of the past or – or and, and sometimes, you know, the past is an amazing thing. But you you lean on the past too often, you're going to trip on the future. Honestly, if you just keep hearkening back to the days, oh, when the Yankees did this, oh, when the Yankees did that, yeah, been there, done that. Obliterated baseball for 15 straight years, just stepped up and smacked people and said, would you like another one? Would you like another smack? Would you like to lose 7-1 or would you like to lose 13-2? to What's on the menu tonight? Because we're coming in and we're going to kick your ass. And they did it for a long time. And it was fun. What I'm saying is I'm excited for, I think, a scrappiness sound right. with Verdugo. Forget about judging so They're just guys, amazing. There's appeal Verdugo here. Verdugo yeah. and, and, and Volpe 2.0 and Glaber to contract year. And I know you're going to laugh, but even a little bit of Grisham here and there. Like, they, just, just a lot of guys have something to prove. It's Grisham, di- he might be a more integral part in having to play center field, he especially might, before he might Dominguez. Be. I want to see when Dominguez comes back. I want to see what Spencer Jones does down at AAA. Uh, it's just... I'm I'm 
It's opening day. I can't wait for 4 o'clock. I can't wait for the season. I'm not getting wrapped up in 96, 98, 99, 2000, 2003, losing to the Marlins, 2001, the Diamondbacks, 2009 winning. I'm worried about today. And right now, Sal, I feel pretty good about my team. BT and Sal on the fan warrior calls on the other side. It is opening day, Yankee baseball on the fan. 